guys welcome to our channel roll with me here in this video we will see the overview of control panel so now let's start our video watch the full video till end this is our uh, control panel um, so we have different options in the control panel uh, like system security network and internet hardware and sound programs user accounts appearance and personalization clock and reason ease of access so uh, these different options have different uh, performance and uses so we will see the uh, performance of all the options in the control panel so we will start with the system and security so uh, we have different options in this mm, uh, first we have security and maintenance so uh, this option is not of much use so skip this option and uh, ah, yes we have the window defender firewall this is of big use so must uh, turn on your uh, window defender firewall state and this is used for preventing uh, virus from external sources or from uh, like internet and pen drive and other devices which we connect uh, to our computer so uh, must turn on firewall so next we have system so in this option we have uh, different uh, parameters uh, parameter means uh, like uh, we have full configuration of our com uh, laptop or computer so we will see uh, like window edition this window is window 10 pro and the system uh, pro uh, processor what is the ram of the ram of our computer what is the type like 64-bit uh, processor and either it is touchable or not uh, in case we have we do not have touchable uh, and computer name and different uh, like computer ID and all product ID and all so uh, next we have power options so in this options we can change the power setting of a laptop or computer uh, in case um, my setting is on balance uh, which is the recommended setting uh, which you also uh, might opt uh, and you can also change the settings to different and you can change the sleep time of your laptop or computer and different options and, and next we have file history it is of no use uh, and we have backup and restore windows 7 which is in case if we have to uh, back and restore the uh, Windows 7 data and all. And next we have um, BitLocker drive encryption. And this we can uh, put our lock on our drive. Like we have different drives in our laptop or computer. Uh, like, Win like drive D, C, E, F and different drives we have. Um, so we can put on a lock on this on these drives uh, so um, by turn on or your bit locker you can uh, turn on the on this log so next next we have storage spaces uh, by the use of this you can manage your uh, space or manage your memory uh, which means uh, like like previously or primarily we, you have uh, three drives or three volumes window or uh, sorry drive C drive D and drive E in case you want to extend these drives like after drive uh, C D E you you want to have drive um, F G H and like that so you can extend your drive space or computer or laptop memory uh, next is work folder it is not of much use and the next is administrative tool so uh, it is of, it is also of no use and uh, the next option is flash player flash player is what this is what when you uh, connect it to the internet or you are operating another device with the help of your laptop or computer so it uses 
its space to operate so you can change these settings like whenever you connect it to the internet and you and you do some uh, research or anything else so sometimes when we uh, log into some website and, and all these so there are some cookies and and all that so these cookies uh, saves in a computer so you can change the setting by allowing site uh, allow sites to save information on this computer ask me for allowing uh, new sites to save information on this blog hole so uh, i just opt allow sites to uh, save information. so you can you can also ask me before yeah So this is our uh, overview of our first option ne and next we have network and internet. So in this uh, we have three options network and sharing center, internet options and infrared. First is network and sharing center. Uh, in this uh, we can connect to uh, internet, we can connect our laptop or computer to uh, with Wi-Fi or a USB tethering and all so uh, by this option you can check uh, your, your internet is connected or not and if you have any problem you can troubleshoot your problem the next is uh, internet options to have different internet option uh, you probably do not need this and next is infrared so uh, this is this is much of uh, advanced option this is used when you are connecting with uh, some device which uses infrared uh, communication for sending or receiving a file. So um, when you are connecting uh, a device with your laptop or computer you can use this. It is of use. So we have the next option hardware and sound. It is of much use. Here we have different options, device and printer, autoplay, sound, power options, window mobility center, infrared. And like uh, some of our options we have seen earlier. So first we have device and printer. In this we can connect to connect a laptop to external devices like uh, mouse and other laptops, printers. So this option is for that. And the next is autoplay. So here you can change your setting uh, like uh, different. Uh, um, okay, like uh, when uh, uh, you connect to your laptop computer with uh, with a pen drive or any like card reader, you use this option to change your setting. Uh, like what is the default program which run on your computer or else like. Uh, when you put in your DVD or else like memory card or anything what is the first option that will be played on your laptop or computer so next we have sound mm, sound here you can uh, uh, change the setting of your sound and uh, you can add devices for your sound recording or and all that and next we have power options this we already seen and next we have window mobility center <clears throat> mm, yeah, yeah. Uh, we, next we have infrared and uh, this we have seen and here so next we have program this is of much of the use uh, in this we have two features program and features and default programs so uh, program and features is the most important so in this Yes, this is of much use. Listen, when you have installed any program, any software, like uh, like install Google Chrome, like you uh, install Cam Studio, Microsoft Edge, Microsoft OneDrive, like and any like PyCharm, like any antivirus, like or Venaria uh, um, file extractor. So uh, and uh, Microsoft Visual Studio. So uh, it's uses that um, if you want to change in your software or 
any file so you can do it like uh, like uh, we have google chrome so just right click on it and the left click and we have option uninstall so by this we can install and uninstall a program or sometime yes we can have different options with uninstall like uh, uninstall change and repair so it is of much of use next we have default programs i think it is not of much use so next we have user accounts yeah so uh, we, it, here we have uh, three options user accounts credential manager mail so by the user account you can change the name of your account that you have created your account type like local account administrator or any other else you can basically you can manage your account so uh, if you want to change your name of the account to like sample you can change so you can change yeah see the name the name of the uh, account is changed so uh, here with this option you can change and the account name the account type like uh, you can you can also change the uh, account type to standard or administrator yeah so we have the other option credential manager yeah i think this is not of much of use and uh, and our next option is appearance and personalization yeah so this is uh, a option which is used to change the look of your laptop and computer so first option is taskbar and navigation so in the taskbar you can change different you can change the background of your uh, laptop or computer you can change the colors uh, you can change the themes fonts many things you can change the taskbar that bar uh, you have different options to explore you can change the look uh, the look of your uh, laptop or computer ease of access center file explorer options and fonts in fonts you can change the fonts of your uh, like uh, all the text like appearance and personalization control or control panel home yeah so these are the fonts these are some uh, random styles so you can change the style of your fonts so next uh, next we have the clock and reason yeah time so we have uh, we have uh, two options date and time and reason so you can change the date and time of your laptop and computer in case uh, uh, you can also uh, uh, change your setting to auto update your data and date and time uh, you can also change your reason like uh, you can change the date and time by yeah you have the you have just this so um for changing time for changing the date and time change to the change date and time options and we have a small pop up yeah by this help you can change your uh, date and time like we have a small calendar and a small clock by this help you can change your date this calendar yeah and you know november december yeah you and you can change anything according to you and you can change the time of your uh, computer by just uh, remove and just put some readings yeah and just and just click to the ok to uh, save so we cannot do this we have our time up to date so and the we have the reason yeah you can change the style of your date and time like uh, in, in which style you want to see your time and date like uh, day month year or month day year like this you can you can also change the uh, reason in which you are living in like uh, english french any language you can so uh, we have the next option ease of access 
so in this we have two options ease of access center and speech recognition always scan this section so uh, in this we have different options so, so uh, do not change this or modify this section leave it default and here we have the advanced option speech recognition uh, with the help of this speech recognition option you can control your laptop or computer by your own voice by setting up this option you can start speech recognition or set up a microphone here with this option set up a microphone you can set up your microphone with the help of which uh, you control your laptop or computer and uh, uh, so you, uh, for this you have to start your speech recognition yes so we have all eight options so that's all for today this is the overview of our control panel thank you